Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup look basically. Um, I've got just a makeup look in mind that I really like. It's inspired by Hannah Renee. Um, I really like her videos and I'm really into watching them at the moment. So if you haven't seen her, you should definitely go and have a look at her channel. But she, her makeup always looks nice, particularly her eye makeup. So that's what I've been inspired by. So I think I'm going to actually start with the eyes for once. Uh, because I never do that so I figured I'd just mix it up a bit so to start I'm actually going to do my eyebrows and I'm using the collection eyebrow kit in blonde um, however it has got actually a really good shade range in this Oy, there we go um, so it's got really dark a mid brown and then a light I kind of use this in the front of my brow and then that all over I don't tend to ever use the really dark part of it because that would be too dark for me but it does mean that if you can't get it in the brunette shade and you want like a cool tone kit this might be good for you but yeah I actually really like the brush it comes with as well so I start with the middle colour and line my brow and then I just tend to fill it in don't usually do my brows first either um, but I figured as I'm doing eyes and then going to be applying concealer, I can like carve them out somewhat. Now this is the point where I use the lighter part and I just flick up through the front and then the other cool thing about the brow kit is that you get this little clear brow gel that just sets your brows in place just zoomed you in a bit so you can see what is going on so now I'm taking my concealer I'm using the collection lasting perfection concealer I'm just gonna pop it on my lid and I've got a damp real technique sponge and I'm just gonna blend that in so I didn't actually carve out my brows but I was just really careful when I went along underneath them I don't want to blend the line underneath I like it to be quite sharp and I'm now just going to dip this real technique setting sponge into my Ben Nye banana powder and just press that on my lid to set it in place looks so funny at the moment because my face and neck don't really tan that much particularly my neck my face does but it loses its tan really quickly and I have really pink cheeks and then the rest of me is quite tan so it's like I've got a different head on a different person's body now for the eyes I'm going to be using two palettes in this look my Too Faced Chocolate Gold which I use all the time so sorry if you're sick of me using it but I just love it and the smell of it makes me want Cocoa Pops anyway so I'm just going to take the shade So Bougie, which is like the palest matte brown, and I'm just going to sweep that into my crease as my transition shade. The usual windscreen wiper motions, and then I like to do circular motions to really blend it out. And I'm going to blend that above my crease as well. I'm actually going to go into another, another, another palette now. I'm going to be dipping into the W7 Delicious palette purely because they've got really nice, um, like warm caramel kind of tones, and I want this to be a nice warm makeup look. So I'm going to take the same brush and dip into this one here, which I've actually hit pan on because I do use it a lot, um, but I just love it. So I'm going to take this warm caramel colour. I would tell you the name of it but this palette doesn't have names um, and just buff that on top of where I put the transition shade so that is that might zoom you in a bit more actually just so you can really see what I'm doing with the eyes I've um, not long put moisturiser on which is why I look like super shiny and also I did a another makeup video earlier so I used like a 
cleanser that can make my skin look super shiny so that is why I look like that but it feels nice though I just wanted to make sure I'm looking after my skin when I'm filming a lot of videos in one day now I'm taking a smaller denser brush with the same shade that I just did I just want to really build it up on my outer V I'm gonna start by tapping it on I just find this is the best way to get a really good colour payoff and then just drag it into that V colour and then I like to blend afterwards just works well for me now going back into the chocolate palette I'm going to use the shade Cocoa Truffle which is like this brownie colour here quite a warm dark brown taking that same brush and again packing it on the outer V I'm literally just setting it down where I want it and then I'm going to slowly blend it and I'm just keeping this to the outer part of my crease sort of from the centre to the outer bit and then just the outer bit. I don't want to go all the way across like I did with the other colour. I'm just going to keep building it up until I'm happy. And then taking the brush that I use for my transition shades, I'm just going to blend the transition shade into that deeper colour. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to dip into the colour rolling in dough which is like this nice sort of creamy bone colour and I'm just gonna pop that on the sort of inner half of my lid sort of cut crease it really but not as detailed as I would with concealer like it's not going to be as defined but I just want it to be that kind of vibe but a bit softer taking a different brush and going back into the colour from the W7 palette and I just really want to buff that into my crease and intensify that caramel colour and then I'm going to go back in with the creamy colour and just um, like redefine that cut crease line then taking this again no extra product on the brush I'm just going to blend the creamy colour and the darker colour together and then going in with this one I'm going to use the caramelly colour again just to really blur it all out and make it a soft transition. Now I'm going back in with that Loella brush and I'm actually going to dip into the black which is called Decadent in this um, Too Faced palette and I'm very lightly placing that down in the outer V this is one of those things that it's gonna look messy until it all comes together and I'm just pressing it on so far I'm actually not blending it yet and I'm pressing it in at an angle so it kind of helps create like a wing pinched shape to the outer part of your eye and now again taking the original transition shade, I just want to, not transition shade, transition brush, I just want to buff that out of the crease because I actually didn't want it to go up that high. So I'm just making sure I blend out any of that. Then going back in with the brush that I used for the black, I'm going to start to blend that colour out. And then going back into the transition and blending it. Now I'm just going in back in with the brown to kind of pull the caramel colour and the black in my outer V together then one more time I'm going back into the black this sort of look just 
takes a lot of like building up, blending out, building up, blending out. And then one last time going into the creamy colour again, just to mainly intensify the front part of it. So I'm happy with the eyeshadow so far. I'm now just going to pop on a wing. I'm leaving the eyes for now, I'm going to do the skin and then I'll come back to finish the eyes off. So I'm just going to pop on some primer, I'm still using my Face Theory Ultra Glide. And blend it in to make my face even pinker than it already is. Now for foundation, I'm actually going to mix two because of to match my skin because I'm kind of like an in-between shade at the moment. So I'm going to use the Ordinary Coverage Foundation and the Ordinary Serum Foundation purely because of the colours. I prefer the serum foundation but I do still like the coverage foundation so I'm going to mix the two because this is darker and yellower and this is a little bit more pale. So this is 2.YG and this is in 2.1Y. I'm going to do one pump of this actually one and a half of this because this is a better color to me but i just want to make it a tiny little bit paler and i'm going to do like half a pump of this one which was the serum foundation i'm actually going to apply my foundation with a brush which is what i've been doing for kind of like the past week i don't usually like applying with a brush as much as i do beauty blender or real technique sponge whatever but I've actually really enjoyed applying with a brush again recently so I'm going to mix the two on my hand and then like dot it on my face and blend it in now I know it looks crazy and really yellow but you'll see when I blend it into the rest of me it works so don't be alarmed You see I've brought it into my neck and I'm now all one colour whereas this side I've got a white neck, tanned hair and a white face. This is um, a Real Techniques brush as well, I don't know what sort of style it is, it's from the, uh, the metallic collection anyway. I'm just being careful around the eyebrows then what I like to do is now I go in with my sponge and just blend out the very last bit just in case there's any sort of brush marks or anything zoomed you out a tiny bit now that we're on the face just so you can see my whole face a little bit better next I'm going to do cream bronzer which I'm still obsessed with my Chanel um, Soleil de Tan de Chanel, love this for cream bronzing. I actually use the same brush I use for my foundation but I'm just going to sort of buff off any excess on my arm because I don't have like a cotton wool pad or anything but usually I would use something to wipe it off on. Just going to swirl it around the pot and then I like to just press it in to my skin. For concealer I'm going back in with my complexion concealer to conceal under my eyes and at the same time I'm just going to tidy up any shadow that's sort of travelled down further than I wanted it to
I'm just being really careful along here so that I don't actually get it on the wing but I do just want to tidy it all up before blending out the concealer on the other eye I'm just going to go back in with my setting powder and I'm going to set under my eye because I do not want this concealer to crease and I like to set around my nostrils as well and whilst I'm here I'll do my chin concealer is all blended and set I'm now going to kind of contour I don't really contour anymore I just bronze but I'm gonna I mean I haven't really got much of this left either but I'm using the W7 Hollywood bronze and glow and I'm just taking this bronzer I like this because it's cool tone it's got a weeny weeny bit of shimmer in so it looks natural like skin and I'm just gonna press that along from my hairline to sort of a third of the way in I'm just gonna press it along and the the very bottom not as high up as when I bronze now for my bronzer I'm going to warm up my skin with Betty Luminizer by The Balm which again is a shimmery bronze I much prefer to use shimmery products on my skin nothing too intense and the way I apply it it doesn't look like I'm just a glitter ball but I just prefer to use those sorts of products on my skin because it gives me more of a dewy glow which is what I like I like dewy and not matte so I've just dipped a couple of times into this tapped off the excess and then I just press it into my skin taking a different brush and this blusher which is my aphrodisiac by Colourpop I really like this blusher for kind of like a neutral just flash of colour now I'm going to just spritz my face to prep for highlighter I use the dewy finish um, NYX setting spray I really like this and it's super affordable and I'm actually going to use a fan brush I'm kind of into using a fan brush for my highlight again and I like to start at the tops of my cheeks and then bring it onto my cheekbone and of course I'm doing the brow bone and the very tip of my nose for lashes I tried out these backstage stage lashes um i've bought a couple of styles i've only tested these ones so far but i love them they're so like fluttery and wispy they're really easy to stick on i just really really like them so i'm going to be using them today they're the backstage lashes in the style hollywood i've got a little bit of makeup on so excuse it but it's just um i quite like lashes that are kind of sectioned and really fluttery and wispy so i'm just going to pop the lash glue on those quickly I can show you them a bit better now they're out the packet they're just super wispy and fluttery, really lightweight and super easy to stick on. And they've got only £5. Whilst my lash glue is drying, I'm just going to quickly add on a layer of mascara. Just to my top lashes, because I'm trying to work out if I want to do just lashes on the bottom lashes and keep it really clean or um, to do a bit of eyeshadow so pretty look at how fluffy they are Ooh, i love them i think i'm gonna keep the underneath my eye clear of any eyeshadow i'm literally gonna do some mascara just because i really like the sort of pinched winged shape to my eyes if i put shadow underneath then it's going to change the shape and make them look a little bit more rounded um, and i really want kind of the almondy shape let's zoom you in on the eyes quickly just so you can see what i mean about like the almondy shape and you can see the shadow 
quite like a simple not overly dramatic look takes a little while to do takes a lot of blending but i just love the overall effect and can you see how stunning these lashes are finally for lips i've been obsessed with this lip liner for a little while now it's the i heart revolution lip liner where you get four in one and i just love it that it's so handy it kind of basically goes you've got a liner for every sort of nude lip so i'm taking the second darkest twisting it up i'm gonna line my lips lips are lined i'm going in with one of my favorite ever lipsticks which is the Too faced melted matte in the color cool girl this is such a nice nude but this combined with the next thing i'm about to to show you is literally the most perfect nude ever I mean, this is a stunning colour. You could leave it at this quite easily. It matches the eye colour really well as well. Mm, that actually looks so nice. I'm kind of tempted to leave it like this. No, I'm not, because I really want to show you this combo, because it's so good. So I do this, and then I go over the top with the ColourPop um, Lippy Sticks. It's a matte X one, and it's in the shade She Bad, and it's just this really, like, peachy nude, which over this my goodness I feel like I want a nice glossy lip so I'm going to go in with my W7 iridescent lip topper just to get a bit of shine in there and that's it this is the completed look And that's my doorbell it's just perfect for like any date night going out wedding event occasion anything it's just such a good go-to makeup so yeah i really love how this turned out and it's one that i go to quite a lot but i just never really shown it on here before so i thought i'd show you so i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did i'd love it if you could smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one